right, guys, last case from the British Isles. Box. Last box. Well, case, box. Last product from the British Isles. It is not summer, like the seller stated. It is a uh, standard release. Um, but it might be my last standard release beta. I do have a lot of a lot of uh, re already recorded openings, so I, I I vary when things post. But this is box two. You definitely saw box one already. I was definitely going to post that first. But I'm just so curious. That last box had, well, spoiler alert, two death dealers. Like, what the heck's in here? A seer foil, bedrock foil, mud flow foil. Everybody loves mud flow foil. Everyone does. Everybody loves this mat. Thumbs up for the mat. So, if you want some bearish cases, I'm thinking of reaching out and talking with them too. I, I don't know. Sell pack with a case. I, I, I don't know. 25 shipped? Something like that, if that's fair. Beta pack and case. So, alpha pack in case, if you guys are interested. I know there's still a lot of interest in alpha opening, and I'm, I'm definitely interested in doing a live stream again to do another opening. We pulled, we, we had the best alpha box at the Cortison Cup. By far, guys. All right, we already have a foil coming in. How does this happen already? How does this happen? Oh, my God. I, I, and, you know, because Truett, we got, we got the lucky Truett, Matt. We're gonna rub him a little bit here. We got some we got some Truett drawing sketches. And I did have him sign my foil crusade in my deck, so we're gonna have another one. Boom! Holy cow! Is that a pull? Is that a pull, guys? Come on. Come on, give a thumbs up for the Truett Crusade. Holy cow, he was at the Courtesan Cup. He was really awesome. Um, so I mean, you guys can't see it, it's kind of like behind, but you can see. You can kind of see the stuff going on there. Holy cow, is that appropriate for this mat? Is that appropriate? If we pull a foil jihad, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should put like a bounty out on a foil jihad right now. Is anybody putting bounties out in sorcery? Should I be the first one? Maybe. Ooh, Grandmaster. About time he shows his face. The Trojan. Okay. Thanks for joining. Welcome back to, by the way. Unland Angler. Men of the Lang. Berry. Porcupine. I'm just happy we pulled a foil crusade. I don't know. The rest of the box, I don't really care. We got another foil. We got the court jester. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do you guys think this is? Alba Spine Pikeman? Boom. Boom. I'm just too good. Um, this is not the first Alba Spine Pikeman that I've had this going on up there. Just saying. Um, don't know what's going on with them. Those Pikeman. Pudge? We got the bottomless pit. Bottomless Pit's like a, ne a needed card. Every deck should run a Bottomless Pit. Especially you Enchantress players. Don't say anything. Ooh, boy. We got we got something juicy coming in here. Something real juicy. Fenvale, Lightning Bolt, Disenchant, Firebolts, and a Swimming Scout. Nice. Love those mortals. Again, if anybody's ever pulled a Curio... Um, with a foil, I'd love to know about it. So, tell me. I need to know. Tell me. Mix air coming in. Foil. Not a foil boil, just a regular boil. No uniques yet. No uniques yet. Imperial Road. I played those in my deck. Should I go through my deck one day here? Take a video, go through, go through the old deck. Stone Gaze Gordons. Oh, whoa. Tor if this is another trinket, I'm just going to like, I don't know. I'm just going to, I'm just going to stop. Oh, yeah. I'm done, guys. I'm done. 
Good game. Another trinket. This is, this is my third trinket. Full play set in the past two boxes. What the heck is going on? Not that I don't want the trinket. Or I don't appreciate the foil trinket. I appreciate it. But like, come on. Give me something else. Gray wolves. Unravel some sleep. I just want some variety. Are you the same card? Spear of Destiny coming in with the big old B symbol on there. Okay. The Minotaur is going. Um, it's real a little bit hard to see, but pretty awesome. So we got five foils in that first row. We only have four foils left. We did pull a foil crusade, like I said. So the rest of them, I don't really care. Um, we got the Vesuvius coming in here for our second unique. Firebolt, Spask, Berry, the Manny. Should I sleeve up another pack? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, 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 I wasn't even paying attention when I saw that coming in. Holy cow. That's pretty awesome, guys. It doesn't get much better than that. Aqua cores I, I, are the most scarce. Um, I've put, then Onyx, then Ruby, then Aquamarine for me. Aquamarine's definitely coming in as the easiest pull. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Amethyst is coming in as the easiest pull. Aquamarine is definitely the most difficult in immolation coming in for our fourth unique. Okay, Porcupines. Give us a carry. Free city. Thrill. Having it. Ice. Okay. Final line. Fenvale. And Bone Rabble. Still regret not buying that Bone Rabble painting. The original painting was at the Courtesan. Jeff had it. East West Dragon. Lightning Bolt. Disenchant. Mad Dash. Polar Bears. Spin Attack. Somebody tell me why it's so hot. Our second Grandmaster Wizard. Bosk Troll. Riptide. Why is it so hot? Why am I sweating in air conditioning? Windmill. Gnomes and some Kraken. Okay. Berry. Slayer. Why am I sweating? Oh, we got a foil. Conqueror Worm. Con Conqueror Worm's crazy if you guys haven't read the text. At the end of your turn, if no enemy units occupy this site, permanently gain control of it. What? Slayer, what do we got? What do we got? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Ice Slants. Okay. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Let's check it out, though. Look at how many people it's going through. It's just, and demons or banshees or whatnot. Step. Step. Wave Shaper. We love the Wave Shaper. The Seas, Mega Meeb. Merce. Ormond Hoop Harpooners. Harpooners? We'll see. Screaming Skull. Vipers. Harpooners. I was right again. Six, seven. Three, six, seven. Yes. One unique foil, though, and it's Crusade. Not a bad unique foil. Boom! Brows! Coming in. That's awesome. Actually, I need it again for that place up that I'm trying to put together. Great old one. I think I need that one, too. Nice. Bosk, Swamp, Bears, River. 
We'll probably have eight uniques in this box, given the last box. Nice. I also needed this one All because we um, had eight in the last. So they tend to be um, they tend to be the same um, in the case. Assuming they told me this was summer, so they told me it's summer. Um, so maybe I sh I'm, I'm wrongly assuming that it's in the same case, guys. I don't know. Wall of air. Sleep. Okay. Um, maybe I shouldn't assume anything. Bedrock. Love the bedrock. Mordic druids. I got a. I pulled a foil one in a draft, and then like hurry up, and made my deck, ran over to Jeff. Jeff signed it for me. I put it back in my draft deck. Signed. I'm like only only draft player ever to play a signed card in their draft. Okay. Wall of Ice. Chains of Prometheus. I'm gonna weigh tonight, guys. I'm gonna weigh. Um, Vile Imp. Windmill. All-terrain investments. Oil. Oh, oh, Monastery Gargoyle coming in. Oh, yeah. Should I open a pack with one hand? Have you ever seen that, guys? Have you ever seen a pack opened entirely and sifted through with one hand? Can I do it? Three, six, seven, eight, work. We need one more. I'm so tempted to use my other hand. But... Hang on. Shield Maidens. Bane Widow. Blast. Oh, our third wizard in this box. That's pretty awesome. We got some common sense. Fire Harpoons. Dryads. Oh, well, we dropped one. I can still pick it up with this hand. Deep Sea Mermaids. Okay. I can still pick... I'm, I'm going to pick them all up with this hand. Okay. Dup, 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 dup. Okay, I give up. <laughs> the mermaids, the dryads, the common sense. All right. Um, it was fun. I did crack it, though, with one hand. If you guys are wondering if it's possible. And I did not use the table to crack it. We got the Searwin Hydra. We have Overpower, Disenchant. Okay. I think we're still missing one unique and one foil. One unique and one foil. Lots of ruins in there. Put that off the thing so I could stack a really good card in it. Uh, lightning. If I put the sleep in it. Okay. Cone. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. Boom. Highland Princess coming in. We want we want her every day. We, we definitely want her, guys. Um, where is my what happened to it i had some sleeves um don't know don't know where they went we're just gonna raw dog her don't laugh at that um yes i definitely needed that for my um play set so this was a great thing for my play i got a pristine paradise great old one browse aquamarine and highland princess like plus a foil crusade Two packs left. We got our foil coming in here. We do need this royal bodyguard for our playset as well. So that's going out to the side. We got the border militia, deep sea mermaid, and our crater eyes coming in. Um, we're going to just, uh, there we go. Crater eyes. That's our final foil of the box. Um, I believe we don't have any more uniques. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What do we do with this? Do we put this in our bearish case? Maybe. Maybe. Um, it's just a nice looking pack that we may want to do that with. Um, yeah, we're going to do it. This is a commercial. Buy my hats. Hats. So comfy. Hats. 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 Buy some hats. All right. After this video, you guys will be like, this guy's a lunatic. Okay. So remember, don't do this side. 
you do this side. I already broke one and uh, I already broke one. There we go. We've cracked it. That was from my Ridge wallet. The Ridge wallet uh, is not a part of this video. Boom. Okay. We are going to take said pack, place it into said case. And I am not sponsored by this company at all. I was just fascinated by these pack enclosures so much that... Um, do I like? Yeah, I like that. I was just fascinated by these pack enclosures to the extent that I was just like, I need to have these. Um, you know, I think I was showing you guys in the last video. Are you ready? You guys are ready to laugh. You guys are ready to laugh. Okay. Look at how sleek and good this looks. <laughs> there we go. Gen Mint 10 revised pack. Is this a revised pack? Is this what I got? Yeah, this one's revised. Um, so it's a Gem Mint 10 revised. I I have no words to describe this uh, slab this is in. Holy cow, guys. I mean, what are you going to do, right? What are you going to pick? You want to send it to PSA and pay $50? I don't know. I don't know if you want these. Like I said, I'm, I'm considering reaching out to Bearish and, and doing some sort of a collab um you know i might be able to get you guys these for something like 25 bucks shipped completely sealed all ready to go you don't have to worry about breaking it i'll put the packs in i'm not gonna wait till the last pack to do your packs either like i'll just open a booster box and start putting them in so um who knows what'll be inside um but yeah let me know what you guys think these ones are just for display for me like this is the one that I said would never move from there, and I have two now. And I also have a magic pack in here as well, and the magic judgment pack just looks really good in here. Um, I've been tr I've been wanting to send the judgment pack to PSA just because I picked it up, and it just looks so clean. Um, but again, I, I don't know if you guys saw some of my earlier videos last year. This, this is videos going on, and nobody's probably watching. But a renaissance pack. I got Prophecy, just because I love Prophecy. Mercadian Masks, but like, look how clean that Mercadian Masks looks, guys, right? How the heck is that a nine? I just sent, and you guys are gonna be like, how could you do such a thing? I sent a fifth edition resealed pack to them just to see what would happen. Would they catch the reseal or would they still grade it? Not joking, they graded it an 8, and it's a reseal. Total reseal, 5th edition. I picked up a bunch of these off of a seller on eBay years and years and years ago. I accused the guy of resealing it, and he's like, he's like, how could you do such, how could you accuse me of such a, such a heinous act? And I was like, because it feels like there's 15 pounds of glue on the top of these two tabs. That's why I accused you of it. And uh, turns out, so I, I let it go, and I was like, "All right, here, you know, he's not, you know, he's he's not doing anything shady." Years later, I crack it here on the channel. Total reseal. I don't know if you go back; it's probably the video is probably a year old at this point. Um, go back, check it out. Years later, crack it. Total reseal. So I sent it to PSA just because I was like, "Are they gonna catch it?" So obviously I'm never going to sell this like and, and you know most likely I'm never selling any of these but to me the big thing of sending those packs in for grading is the protection so if I have a, a nice alternative like something like this which affords me a nice sleeker look and a smaller you know smaller way to maintain and store them like it, it it's a good thing it's a good thing so again not sponsored by bearish uh i picked up a bunch of their their booster pack cases while i was there i've even picked up picked up a um, magic collector case and a, a sorcery club box collector case so anyhow let me know let me know what you want to do if you want to have an alpha opening on a live uh if you want some more uh more of these let me know we'll talk to y'all later i promise we'll talk to y'all later